Hi, I'm Chris Hawkins, and today we're going to talk about volume calculations with Trimble Realworks. Okay, so we have a project open in Trimble Realworks, and it is a scan of a uh, construction site that's had half of the shoring uh, constructed. And uh, we've been scoped with uh, defining volume differences between the face of the existing shoring and uh, the exterior perimeter of the foundation wall. So we've cleaned up the cloud and I've opened this up just to show you the entire cloud to prep the scan. And uh, let me now close this up and show you what we've cleaned up. And so you really need to clean the cloud as best possible because you you're essentially going to be creating a calculation based off of the face of that cloud. So and, and there really is no face of a cloud per se. Um, but you know the series of points are defining what the face of that uh, shoring actually is composed of. As we can see, there's a whole bunch of simply looking like a board and batten situation here. Um, so once you have the cloud as clean as as possible, uh, we then have modeled in uh, our walls as meshes. And so if I come over here and activate our geometry for our walls. We can see here where, I mean, just visually you can start seeing the deviation between where the where the face of the shoring is and any kind of deviations in framing and whatnot, and then where the face of the planned wall is going to be. And so to run calculations on this, it's really pretty simple. We have now select the segment of the cloud. So we broke, we segmented up each face of the wall. Uh, each face of the soaring, and uh, then we can select that individually, and then we can uh, hold down our shift key and select, or excuse me, the control key, and select the uh, modeled wall, and under our surfaces menu, uh, hit volume calculation. We'll expand our dialog here so we can see the face a little bit better, or the, uh, co the controls. And all we're really doing here is now defining the plane that we're going to use as to, uh, to evaluate uh, the volume against the face of the shoring. And on the far right of this list, we've got pick three points on a plane. So we can simply come in here and pick anywhere on the mesh that we've created. RealWorks will generate a plane that it's going to be used as analysis against the cloud. And then we want to define our resolution. So our resolution is really, you know, how tight do we want that volume calculation? It's essentially creating a series of cubes based off of this resolution here. Uh, and so we'll just do a one inch for a quick uh, presentation or a quick uh, preview. And just like that, we have a bar graph that lists the deviation of how far this uh, the face of the wall is from the face of the cloud. We've got a couple of different uh, previews that we can display. Uh, the mesh, which is the red plane here, we can turn that off if need be. The green cloud um, is the face of the shoring. We can uh, turn that off as well. And we're left with a coloration showing what in this regard is mostly uh, a cut, where uh, meaning that uh, the face of the wall is actually penetrating into uh, the face of the shoring. And then we have a minor bit of fill. If we scroll down a little bit more, we actually, excuse me, right above where we were, we have a report that we can generate and it'll give us a whole slew of uh, information based off of what that volume is. We can save that out to a real text file, a rich text file, and, uh, and then embellish that to our heart's content, create any kind of reports off of it. So if you'd like to learn more, please check out our YouTube channel or contact your local building point rep. Thanks for watching.